Hello and welcome back to Master Jory in a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Now before we get started I just want to say thank you for all the support in the series so far. It has been great to see that you're liking this slightly different style of gameplay but I do want to go through a couple of things that people have brought up. Mainly the biggest one out of all of them is the um, conquering thing. Because some people are saying oh I don't I didn't really like conquering this and some people are saying conquer more. So, here's what I'm going for from a roleplay perspective to try and give you a rough idea of what we're doing. So, I'm going to keep conquering things from people who are dishonorable and all that sort of stuff with this character. This character, that, that's, that's his thing in, in my eyes for what we're going to play with. And the reason I'm doing this and not just completely sitting as one province is because you don't have a lot of influence as one province. You could sit as one province for a really long time and nothing would happen. You need to be a little bit stronger just in Crusader Kings to do things. So that's what I'm doing. I'm slowly expanding but with rules to kind of limit it. That, that was my logic behind it. Hopefully that makes sense. It's not perfect but it's not a perfect one-to-one -one thing Crusader Kings ever really, is it? Right. Um, anyway, last time we um, had the false pretender kind of rise up and get promptly uh, shot back down. I believe he's over here somewhere now. Uh, although, wait, which one is? It'll be this one, yes. Yeah, he's, he's over in uh, Pento somewhere now with uh, Magister Illyrio. Which is interesting because Magister Illyrio should have, if I'm right in thinking, the more... People that recognize over there? Nope. No, he doesn't. Maybe it uh, this uh, start does not start with them over there. Anyway. Uh, right. So I think it's time to unpause. Let things kind of carry on their way. Don't currently have anything that we're actively doing, do we? No, we're kind of sitting back a little bit. So we'll let, we'll let things go. We'll let things go. My lord, news from the area of a trial by combat. Lord John Linderley demanded trial by combat from his captor, Lord Paramount Harold Aaron, selecting Sir Arnold as his champion. Sir Arnold slayed his opponent, Sir Andred, proving Lord John's innocence. Okay. So, fairly straightforward one there. Yeah, nothing too exciting. Ooh, we built our private farms. Yeah, somebody also said, I should point out, that one of the other comments was, why are you raising up your men for each war? It's just costing you money and then you can't build any buildings. It is purely kind of roleplay immersion kind of things. It also makes me feel like I'm actually contributing opposed to just being there. I don't know. It, it is something I'm doing. We're going to keep doing it. Uh, my lord, news from Castle Rock of a trial by combat. Sir Justin Serrett man a trial by combat from his captain, Lord Paramount Tyrion Lannister but was slayed at the hands of his opponent, Sir Damien Lannister. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Private farm should help a lot of our money as well. Do they, does that not give us money? Well, it doesn't give us a lot. It gives us some more troops, though, which is quite nice. Yeah, a little bit more. Uh, Arthur died under suspicious circumstances. I don't really know who Arthur is, because he's not one of our special interest guys, and he also has no family or any connections, so that's fine. Absolutely okay with that. My lord, news from Winterfell of a trial by combat. This is more like it. Lord Clay Serwin demanded a trial by combat from his captain, Lord Paramount Eddard Stark, selecting Master Kyle Condon as his champion. Master Kyle forces his opponent, Lord Domeric Bolton, to yield, proving Lord Clay's innocence. I'm starting to think this line of Serwins is a little bit uh, suspect, given that the previous Serwin was also in a trial by combat with the uh, Cal Condon uh, keeping him safe. Yeah. Hmm. I, I got a bad feeling about these guys. Yeah, definitely. Who's their heir? Out of interest. Oh, it's the Flint. No, I am gonna. D I am gonna try fabricate claims on them. I think that um, they they are definitely very very much. Uh, they fit my category for people I can do that to. Anyway. Uh, who we? So it's Cal Condon just destroying everyone. Oh yeah, he's, he's he's still amazing. Okay, yeah. He hasn't got any better, but he's still absolutely amazing. Yes, I don't think he's got any better. Oh, I could hold a melee. Oh, and my wife is pregnant. Fantastic, a fourth child. That would be perfect, is to get another daughter and then that uh, lines everything up. So we've got uh, even numbers of uh, both gender and the children. But we'll see. 
I mean, statistically, surely that's what's got to happen. Or is that a gambler's fallacy or something like that? Anyway. Since I came to Winterfell, we have never had a shortage of soldiers reinforcing our troops. Fantastic. I'll send that off to uh, Ned there. Uh, yeah, so that's Robert inheriting some more land. My lord, your son Desmond is responding very well to my tuition. He has improved his skills and is advancing in knowledge every day. Your humble servant, Maester Arston. Okay. Wait, oh, it gives him two intrigue. His learning is atrocious. His intrigue is very good. He's very, very good at intrigue. He's not got an intrigue education, though. And yeah, that was another one brought up. The education type. Oh, we got another daughter. Fantastic. Sarah. Uh, let's give her a... You know what? Let's give her a faith education. But yeah, education was brought up. I'm going to be choosing educations based upon whatever I think that the um, parent would want for them, rather than what's good. Again, it, it gives you weird and interesting things. My friend, Lord Paramount Edward Stark, has tried to have Lord William Umber of Last Hearth arrested, but failed to apprehend him. Lord William has now raised his banners in rebellion. Realm will surely bleed. If I do that, that's going to yeah, gonna split things up. Well, I want to join your war. Yes, definitely. We'll raise our troops, and we'll start moving on our way. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, he accepted. I thought he would. We'll attach to that army. I do want to catch this one as well. My acquaintance, Lord jo uh, Jojen uh, Reed, has tried to have Lord Arion Marsh of Churwell arrested. But failed to apprehend him. Lord Arion has now uh, raised his banners in rebellion. So that's in the neck. And Arion Marsh down here. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of stuff going on down there. Oh, I, wanted to, I just want to catch up to you here. Let me join your army. Fine. What quality education would you like to purchase for our second son, Callum? Oh, Callum's a squire. Oh, that's good. Obviously, he's being educated by knight. That makes sense. Um, let's uh, go for the basic equipment. Yeah, basic equipment. That seems fine. Uh, and he has to choose a focus. Now, he's going towards a knight. I'm thinking Marshall will just force him into that again. Yeah, definitely. Right. Uh, definitely attached to that army. And we'll uh, see how it goes. A few days ago, you noticed an intriguing woman at your court. Most of the time, she sat quietly and did not draw any attention to herself. However, you could tell that she was listening very intently to the conversation, that nothing escaped her watchful eyes. Perhaps you can find some use for her talents. Um, I don't think I'm going to make Lara... Um, my spy master. I currently have a friend as spy master, even though Lara would probably be better at the job, much better at the job. No, definitely not. We trust our friend. Lord Egbert of Flint's Fingers has usurped the High Lords of Flint's Fingers, so there's a new Flint in charge of that. I believe that they, they've just swapped, because I think he was I think he was originally in charge, or maybe it was his father who was originally in charge. But anyway, yes. Brave news. Master Arstan, having been tending to the wounds of men at your command, is reported to have cracked under the stress of the stream of uh, grotesque injuries. The men are now unnerved because of this. Oh no! And he's become stressed. It's a very stressful job being a maester in the north, apparently. Uh, we'll have Daisy leading that army. And we'll have... Where's my other army? Oh, it's here. Yeah, Roderick can lead that one. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Oh, they're running uh, into the Night's Watch again. When the hot cautery uh, touched the open wound, I couldn't hold the scream back. I cursed the doctor who only laughed. Told me to take it easy and not to pick at the wound. Why, I oughta. Oh, I am now wounded. Oh, no. That's very not good. I was kind of hoping we might survive a little bit longer. Oh. That was not a good uh, battle for our wife, who is now running away. Oh, and now she's part of an army heading back up there. My dear friend, I want to give you the honor of sending my child, Lord Rickon, to you in King's Course, making him your ward. I can think of none better to teach him and nurture him into a good man. Your loyal friend, Lord Paramount Eddard. Oh, of course I'll do that. Yeah, of course. Do we actually get to keep him as a ward? It looks like it. Okay, Rickon Stark, currently just an idolizer. Oh, and he is haughty. Okay. 
Interesting. We'll see how that goes. Oh, who was that who died? Hagen Magnar died of cancer. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, he was the... Oh, he was the first son of uh, Lord Hagen. I named his son Hagen as well. Interesting. Oh, it's Hagen. He's our rival. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Yeah. He deserved that. Definitely. His possessed, stressed, greedy, lustful, proud person. Magnars don't have many left, do they? They only have two living members. Oh, wow. Okay. That's crazy. Um, at 55, your father-in-law, Donald Condon, died a natural death. Oh! I did not even click that. Wait. So my father-in-law was a condom. Oh, but our wife is a Mormon. Oh. Interesting. So that was a matrilineal kind of thing going on there. Oh. So that means that we... Oh no, that's different house condom. To cow condom's house. There are two house condoms. Oh. That's weird. Okay, never mind. My revelation has been completely lost, has, as has my army. Oh, we won the Siege of Long Lake Town at the very least. My wife lost another battle, unfortunately. My liege, uh, King Robert Baratheon has tried to have Princess um, Ariane Martel of Dorne arrested, but failed to apprehend her. Princess Ariane has now raised her banners in rebellion. Oh wow, it's Mega War. The realm will surely bleed. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Where are we even at? So, let's start with the first thing. Doran the Wise died three years ago. Now, Robert is trying to have uh, Princess Ariane of Dorne arrested. Okay. He's also defending against Prince Oberyn Red Viper and Prince Oberyn's claim on Dorne's war. Oberyn also being her husband. I was kind of wondering what... Like, I was wondering who she was married to. Okay. So, 17,000 versus 5,000 in the internal war, which is actually about to change when this battle ends, because... That's going to completely uh, make it one-sided. But in the major war, that's 51,000 versus 17,000. Okay. But she also has the support of Roseby, Duskendale, Macy's Hook, the High Septum, Dalston Keep, Rook's Keep, and Dire Den. But Robert has the support of the Trident and of the Stormland. So if I do this... Yeah, okay, so those are... Wait. Are we... Oh, we're still his vassal, I see. That's why he has so many men right now. It's because the North is still a vassal. Until uh, the war that uh, Ned's in ends. Okay, I see. Interest. Interest. Anyway. We will uh, focus back up on the North, but I'm intrigued. Oh, that's the end of the war in the North. The revolt has ended. Uh, Lord William Umbar has been imprisoned in Winterfell. Okay. My liege, my working castle servant, seems to have come to fruition. I have got a claim. Fantastic. We will uh, definitely use... Well, we don't have the money to use it. Hmm. We could do it anyway. Do we have a child who's about to uh, come of age? We do. How close are you to... September. Are we going to make 25 gold by September? Probably not at the current rate. I think we have to let it go. We can always get it later. Right. Oh, another person has joined. Bard's home has joined on uh, Robert's side. But Mandervale, Rainwood have also joined down here. So that's uh, some from the Reach have joined. Interesting. The Reach itself is not declared. I guess it's declared neutral. Okay, so the Iron Throne... Wait, oh, uh, first things first. Uh, disband our troops. Right. So, yeah, you're in this one, but in theory the North should break free now, right now? Anyway, the old wound is finally healed, leaving a pretty grotesque scar behind. Ooh, yeah. So, well, wound is gone. We've now got scarred. Okay, that's a little bit better. I mean, the scar can look a little bit distinguished. It may, it may definitely makes it look like we've been in a battle, which would be good. 
Why have they got War Scroll ready? Oh, because the um, occupation of Baylor in King's Landing. Wait. They're already occupying King's Landing? It's pretty good. Wait, a Baylor in King's Landing. Nobody occupies anything in King's Landing. Hmm, I don't know. Well, it says that it, it says that it's been... Maybe someone does occupy something in it? Doesn't look like they do. Oh no, it's this one down here. Okay. Ah, uh, of course, the Sept of Baylor. Because it's owned by the High Septum. I get it. Right. North changed some laws. North should break free at some point. But maybe it doesn't work like that. Okay. The peasants have attacked... Uh, my lord, the peasants have attacked me while collecting taxes in King's Course. They wounded me severely and I barely escaped my, uh, their wrath. Your humble Castellan. Master Tomard, and he sent us two letters. Very much, how dare they? Yeah, maybe the Mega War doesn't break these guys free. That's possible. Like, if they if they were already, uh, if they didn't get the option at the start of the war, maybe it doesn't let them go. Interesting. My lord, I write to you bad news from King's Chorus. My efforts to squeeze some extra tax out of the population have been met with resistance. The peasants are arming themselves. I feel we may have a revolt on our hands here soon. Your humble Castellan, Master Tomard. Master Tomard, you failed miserably in your duties. Alright. Okay. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay. A lot of men heading down there. Ooh. Under my guidance, my young ward, Rickard, is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Fantastic. He's a trained fighter. And he is actually staying as our ward, which is fantastic. Uh, it's brilliant. Yes, the other bit of feedback, we might as well make this the feedback episode, is um, people were saying, oh, why don't you marry into um, into Ned's family? Like, Why don't you get your son married to Sansa and all of that sort of stuff? Basically, uh, I set out the rules for marriage at the start. We're not going to marry more than one rank above us. There are two ranks above us. So they're, they're out of our reach. If, they, if the offer is made to us, we will accept it. Otherwise, it, it's too much. It would be too much of a scandal for that to happen. Right. Anyway. Head down to Dorne. Are Dorne still in their internal war? Yes, but it looks like they're going to win the inter internal war. Interesting. Our acquaintance Muriel died of um, her physique. She's a skin changer. Oh, and she's also married to Lord Clay. Interesting. A child lacks an education. Oh, we haven't got the event saying um, please educate her. Diplomacy seems absolutely fine here. Yeah. Yeah. Seems absolutely fine as a route forward for... What quality... Oh, there we go. What quality of education? Um, basic equipment. Mainly because we can't afford anything else. Very expensive having children. Didn't you know? Oh! Two things. Uh, first one, up in the corner. At age 27, your acquaintance, Lord William of Last Hearth, was beheaded on the orders of Lord Paramount Eddard of the North. Okay. That now means that Lord Galbart is in charge of uh, the Umberlands and his regent uh, Adlover effectively in charge of everything. Interesting. And now how many Umbers are... Okay, so who goes... It goes to his sister after that, and then who next? Then on to Theon um Alright, then on to his uh, uncle. Wait. Yeah, uncle. Weird. Anyway. Uh, new Lord Commander on the Wall. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. I shall take no wife, hold no lands, father no children. I shall wear no crowns and win no glory. I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watch from the walls. I am the fire that burns against the cold. The light that brings the dawn. The horn that wakes the sleepers. The shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the night's watch. For this night, and all nights to come. The Lord Commander has died. Morse Westward will replace him and serve the realm in these troubled times. The Moors Westward. Where are the Westfords from? So they're oh, they're from the Westerlands. That makes sense given the name Westford. I'm just interested on uh, where House Westford actually are. I guess he's going to be head right now. All right, so they're oh, Castle of Westford. You know, again, makes a lot of sense. But now held by the Grey. Uh, marches. Oh, okay. Interesting. Let's unpause. Let things carry on a little bit more. Oh! 
Orin Doran ended very quickly. Is it over? Yeah. How did it end? Bruce. The White Peace. Oh. Interesting. And the other war? Oh, it looks like she's going to win against uh, Oberyn. Although Oberyn has, uh, still has a fair army left. Like a fair number of men. That's okay. Um, the war between the greatest powers of the realm have subsided for now. Okay, everyone's back underneath except a few random bits here and there who'll fix themselves. Right. The North. My young son has finished his education in military strategy and command. It turned out less well than expected. He also has a fondness for very weird beards, which uh, we definitely disapprove of. An incompetent commander. He is attractive. He's getting by on his good looks. Obviously, the beard is uh, helping with that. He is okay at fighting. So basically, what we've got here is he's all right at fighting, but he had uh, he had no interest in actually uh, commanding armies. He 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 did the lessons, but he didn't he didn't commit to that. He is attractive. Okay. He is humble. That's good, I suppose. A bit, little bit gluttonous. Okay, and charitable. Then Eretrude. He has a scholarly and bookish disposition. So he would have probably preferred to just be sitting at feasts and eating. And reading books the whole time. That he was uh, trying to be taught military strategy. Alright. Well, we should probably find a wife for him. Next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.